What is going on guys? My name is Patrick aka Chief Pat and today bringing you guys a brand new video. So we're back on the Let's Play account today. Been a while since I posted a video from this account, sorry about the delay, but talking about the upgrades, a couple of things inside of the laboratory and as far as gold goes, we could upgrade an Archer Tower or a Tesla depending on how much gold we get today. But taking a look at some bases, I actually was able to find a ton of loot. Uh, so let's go ahead and hop into those right now. But before I start off, I did want to remind you guys, I have been live streaming on Camcord. You guys probably know about Camcord because I did a video in the past as well as other Clash YouTubers like Godson, Galadon, Nick at Night, Molt, everyone's been streaming on there. So if you guys want to check me out, I'm going to throw a link in the description below uh, for you guys to check out my profile because I'm actually going to be starting streaming right after this video goes live. So after you watch this video, you can drop by, come and check me out. Probably be rating on my main account and a little bit on this account as well. So again, check out the link in the description below. I'm going to be streaming on Camcord. If you click it, it'll take you to my stream. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it as far as Camcord goes. So taking a look at this base, I'm using Barbarians, Archers, and Goblins. As you guys can see, pretty effective since most of the resources are inside of the Mines and Pumps. Going to chop a couple of Barbarians as a Meat Shield and the Archers to shoot over the top. Looking at what else is around the base, only a couple of Barbarians left, plenty of Archers left to shoot over the top but uh, sort of just deciding where I want to attack from so starting off with that elixir pump right there there was also a dark elixir drill on the left hand side that I just caught on to archers are gonna shoot over the top and looking at the 17 troops I have left really just have to decide where I want to drop these guys there is this army camp in the way of that gold mine right there and there's also this spell factory right here in the way of this elixir pump so I'm going to go ahead and drop them down here just because this spell factory I think has a little bit less hit points and then that'll allow my archers to shoot over the top for just a little bit more damage and uh, for me to try to steal as many resources as possible all right so we're at 48 percent doesn't look like I'm going to be able to get the 50, so I'm going to go ahead and end the battle right there. 287,000 gold, 216,000 elixir, not bad at all for the first raid of the day. And uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. And before we start this raid, I want to start joining some clans again. I actually want to try to go to war with this account. I've never gone to war on a Town Hall 8 account before, so maybe if any of you guys have a clan that's around Town Hall 7 or a Town Hall 8, you can drop your clan name in the description below. Hopefully, I'll be able to start up some wars on this account because even though it is a let's play and I do a lot of farming, it would be cool to test out how I can do in these, I guess, lower level clan wars because again, haven't really done many other clan wars besides on my main account, which is a fully maxed out Town Hall 10. And I used to do wars on my Chief Pat 2 account uh, and do a bunch of Hog Rider attacks, which I actually might bring back sometime soon. But anyways, if you guys have a lower level clan somewhere around, somewhere around Town Hall 7 and Town Hall 8, Drop a comment, I might be able to stop by, and it would be amazing uh, to do a war with one of you guys, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to show some of those raids inside of my Let's Play videos. But anyways, again, looking at this base here, most of the stuff inside of the mines and pumps, just keep dropping these barbarians and archers on the outside. I decided I would do a lot of barge today rather than the normal, uh, I guess, giants, barbar or giants, archers, goblins, and wall breakers, and it turned out pretty well. Could have even used the same army composition here, but Barch is a little bit cheaper since the Giants and Wall Breakers do cost significantly more resources, but just slowly shooting over the top with these archers right here. Barbarians are going to be able to be the meat shields, and uh, yeah, we're going to make our way through this base. I still have my king left as well, but it looks like most of the rest of my troops are going to be able to get the job done as they, they finish off these last two buildings on the right-hand side. All right, so only 29,000 gold left, a little bit over 100,000 elixir, but not really too worried about elixir right now. And sitting at 39%, nothing really else to get, and over 670,000 resources for that raid. Really awesome raid right there, and I don't know what happened with my luck today, but I was finding an awesome amount of resources, and I definitely can't complain about it. All right, so next base here, 392,000 gold, 325,000 elixir, and not necessarily too difficult of a base. I took a look at the gold storages, and even that gold storage on the left-hand side, it looks significantly full. It isn't a maxed out gold storages or storage, and when you look at the other gold storages, they almost look completely empty. So I'm really not going to focus on going inside of the base, and I just want to make sure I dissect these buildings on the outside, and I maybe take out those dark elixir drills as well. All right, so archers are going to go down right now. Going to take care of that mortar in just a second. The rest of my troops are going to go ahead and go down, drop these goblins and a couple of my other troops. And then after the rest of these buildings go down, just going to drop a couple more archers on the, the dark elixir drills and to hopefully steal a little bit more dark elixir because like I said, king is almost level five and that's going to give us the iron fist ability. 
So finally on the top right, there are a couple more collectors up here. Just going to drop some barbarians and archers to take care of that barbarian king. Troops are slowly going to make their way through the trash buildings on the outside. And I actually forgot these two gold mines right here. So I'm actually just going to drop my dark or my king and he should be able to take those two buildings out. Looking at what's left, we have an elixir pump right here. Going to drop some archers to shoot over the top. Couple of goblins left. Not sure if they're going to be able to do too much for me. I'm actually going to use them uh, as a body shield for my archers as they shoot over the top. Dark elixir drill is going to go down right there. And looking at what's left, I only have a couple of remaining troops. And I guess the most logical thing would be to go for this elixir pump on the top. So I'm going to drop an archer up here, a couple of archers just to slowly make their way through those. And then deciding on how I'm going to be able to get through, it's probably going to be really tough. And uh, I don't have enough goblins or bar barbarians to probably break through that wall right there. So I'm really just going to try to make sure the archers shoot over the top and get the rest of the resources. All right, so barbarians are going down now. Hopefully the archers will switch to the pump, which they do. And now just over the little bit more time, should be able to shoot over the top. And uh, they actually were able to break through the wall, which was really nice. I forgot the goblins did so much damage. And that's probably going to wrap it up for this raid, seeing as there are no more mines and pumps left inside of the base. So again, another 600,000 plus resource raid. I was finding a crazy amount of loot today, and uh, things turned out pretty well. And you can see I ended up with 1.86 million gold. And then I think elixir-wise, we ended up with a little bit over 2 million. And looking at what I can upgrade with Elixir, I think the Lightning Spell is going to be the best thing to do. Also going to go ahead and upgrade that Archer Tower right there, which cost me 1.5 million gold. And then finally, another one of these level 6 walls going up to level 7. Pretty pathetic how I haven't really focused on those too much just yet. Uh, but again, we are at 16 million or 16,000 Dark Elixir. I wish I was at 16 million. And uh, hopefully we'll be bar upgrading our Barbarian King soon. I'll try to focus on that over the next couple episodes. But again, I'm going to be streaming as soon as this episode comes out, so make sure you guys check me out on Camcord. Also, if you are in a clan full of Town Hall 7s and Town Hall 8s, drop a comment below, and I'll try to stop by your clan, and then maybe I can get involved into a clan war. But that's going to do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like, and until next time, I will see you guys later. Peace out.